No matter the talent, the reputation, or the flash, no one is safe. I'm the boss. Sooner or later, I'm coming after the gold, and whoever is carrying it. Oh! Big Rick had a hard time seeing how valuable we could have been to one another. Now, it'll be hard for him to see anything. <laughs> You watch my back, and I'll dig deeper. Yes, sir. For the first time ever, the Lucha Underground Championship belt is on the line. When you're the champion, there is a huge bullseye on your chest. Prince Puma. Puma is still your champion. What a hard-fought victory. That's Cage running out from the back. Oh. Cage has just thrown down the key and unlocked his fate. I'm not going to wait my turn. My turn is now. I am the best. I'm not a man. I'm a machine. I like a man who takes the bull by the horns, but you, my friend, you take the bull by the huevos. You sent Puma to the hospital on your debut and then told the world that Cage doesn't wait in line for a title match. Well, you know what? You're right. Tonight, Prince Puma is here and he has been informed that he will defend in his championship against Cage. No, tonight he loses his title against Cage, because I'm a machine. We'll see. Tonight, a heated, fiery main event takes place. And Vampiro, you had an opportunity to sit down with Conan and Prince Puma. Yes, I did. And Matt asked me, it was intense. Conan and Puma, you got to watch, but check it out and feel it. Yeah, boy. Oh! The Conan and Prince Puma interview is coming up. But right now, a huge, huge match. Let's go to the ring. The following lucha is scheduled for one fall. Coming to the ring, accompanied by Katrina. From beyond the grave, Mil Muertes! Mil Muertes, who drew number 20 in Aztec Warfare. If you missed that show, find it online or go to lraynetwork.com just to bring you up to speed. And still, Mil Muertes was unable to become the Lucha Underground Heavyweight Champion. I have a feeling we're going to see a different, darker, more aggressive, if that's possible, Bill Muertes. I totally agree with you, but I can only confirm the suspicion of all the fans worldwide is I think she is controlling him. I said it, I called it, nobody believes me, but pay attention. Oh my God, she is ferociously sexy. Bill Muertes, I know he has a chip on his shoulder, and he's only going to come here and do one thing, and that's destroy, bro. Well, you would think coming in at number 20 of 20 competitors, Mil was fresh, everyone else was beaten and battered, and yet still, as Mil kneels upon the seal, look at the hand over the eyes. There's shame there. Well, what that's going to do is very, very scary. Daredevil, never say die attitude. 
Phoenix truly embodies the spirit of New Age Lucha, in my opinion. Man, New Age Lucha, what a call, man. Lucha Underground is changing the face of our sport, not only in this planet, but in the universe, and you are right. Phoenix is the guy. Put your money on him, pay attention. Do not blink, because this kid is on fire. Whoa. Yeah, Phoenix Worldwide, from AAA Mexico, or Pro Wrestling Go in Japan, all the way right now to Lucha Underground. It's exactly where Phoenix belongs, at the top of the wrestling world. No doubt about it, brother. This is gonna be, well, it's a contrast of styles. <laughs> Man, well, right off the bat. Whoa, quick roll up. Now, Vamp, the last time these two met, they had already competed in a match and were both fighting for seeding in Aztec Warfare. Cover here. How do you think the familiarity is going to lend itself to this match? Well, I don't know. Wow. Wow, look at Milch's. <laughs> I mean, is that ill-advised to try to go blow for blow with Mil Muertes? Obviously, Phoenix should use his speed. Oh! And oh. yeah, Mil still not off his feet, though. Wow. Phoenix has no choice but to pull out all his stops, but that's only going to provoke the beef, dog. No Phoenix is keeping it moving as Katrina pounds the apron. Bang! Oh, 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 yeah. Wow! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yes, you can know all the names of all the moves. That is called a right hand to the face. And now Bill Fuerte stalks a ball. No, what, dude, what is... Phoenix, Phoenix just keeps coming. Brother, he keeps coming. He is a mystical being that will not go down. And when he does, he gets back up. But holy God, Bill is rocking. Big right hand, over the head, belly to belly suplex, and then a spike DDT, and another right hand. Gosh, I could call Bill Muertes' moose set all day. Drop Phoenix oh. holds on. Oh my god, Luke brother. That, still up. that did nothing but get the beast riled up. Phoenix handspring, Bill catches. Uh. Oh, yes! Nice German suplex, Bill for the cover. Referee Justin Gordon down, only a count of two. No, it doesn't matter what he's hitting him with. Something's provoking Phoenix to keep coming back. You get a shot of the heaving gut of Mil Muertes. That's all that rage and all that anger just boiling from Mil's insides. Long whip. Phoenix taking advantage of the space. Mil using his strength. <laughs> Now Neil creating distance wow. as usually sets up. Oh! Dagger in the heart! Wow, what a spear. Cover, that's it. Right. I have not seen too many people anywhere in the world kick out of that. And every time we see Phoenix, I mean, obviously the name implies the bird that rose from the ashes. Go and Google that. But Phoenix it is that spirit. He just he does not die. And listen to the fans. He's almost feeding off that energy. He's calling. Give it to me. Neil Muertes now sets Phoenix up. Oh, man. Ouch. And now Neil looking to end the match, but no leg hook. And Vamp, how is that significant? No hook of the leg. Man, you don't hook the leg. That's universal, brother. That doesn't matter. 1940, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or the 2000s. If you don't hook that, you ain't going nowhere. Neil now has Phoenix by the throat. Steady, heavy, thumping right hands. If Phoenix could get his hands up, he would defend himself, but he cannot. Damn, brother. It's like getting hit in the face with a sledgehammer. As if one punch wasn't enough from this barrel-chested beast, Neil Muertes. Crowd firmly on Phoenix's side. Wow. Now, we brother. Don't, we don't see Neil go up to the top too often. Oh, my God, brother. The dark cloud is about to open up. Nicely done. Wow. Nicely done. You called it. You saw it. Awesome. That's good yes. stuff. Wow. And Mill is pissed. Phoenix can't even believe it. But Nobody it, can believe it. And it goes to show you it's like a last second shot or, or it's wow. like anything can happen. Mill didn't hook the leg when he had the chance and Phoenix took advantage of it. It was quick, bro.
Welcome back to Lucha Underground, and coming up tonight, we have a championship match. As many say, the champion, Prince Puma, has been baited into a defense against the machine, Cage. Now, let's learn a little more about what fuels the machine. I'm not mortal. I will leave this world the same way I entered. So I'm determined to blow through every challenge like it's my last day. Any wasted day, wasted day is a wasted opportunity. Wasted opportunity. I have to work for every inch because nobody's giving me anything. Nobody's handing me a mask. Nobody's handing me a cape. So every day, I'm right here where I get my powers. With blood and sweat. I'm not a man. I'm a machine. They call me Cage. The following Lucia is scheduled for one fall. And it's a six man. Tag Team Match! Currently in the ring, the team of Arkenis, Superfly, and Aerostar! And their opponents, the team of Cortez Castro, Mr. Cisco, and Bale! So as the crew make their way to the ring for this traditional six-man match, Vamp, we've talked about this quite a bit. The, the six-man tag team match is such a tradition in Lucha Libre. Why? I've been asking that question for almost 30 years. You know, when I first got to Mexico, I was expecting something different. But it just seems like it's been part of the system for over 80 years. And every time I ask one of the old-timers, they say, you know what? We don't know either. That's just the way it's always been. And I'm going to have to give the hand up to the guys from Mexico City because they are more accustomed to this style of match. Okay. Good point out there. And you'll notice there that uh, Senor Cisco came into the ring on the side of the luchadors. I mean, that, that's tough. That's a tough guy right there. All right, the rules of a six-man, the same the rules one-on-one. -on -one. Pinfall submission, disqualification, or countout. Tag in, tag out. Now the only question is who will start for both teams. Looks like Superfly stands in the middle of the ring there in the gold and black boots. That's Aerostar, his partner, in the red and blue. And, of course, the exciting Arrhenes in the white and, what is that, neon green? Uh, lime, green. Okay. And now Senor Cisco will step out. It looks like Cortez the Killer will be the starter. And you know, Vampiro, the Lucha Underground title and all the money that comes with it, that's everyone's goal. Now, the crew had their shot. Big Rick had his shot. But last week, a determined Big Rick warned the crew to stay out of his way. And you know this. You can't sun a guy in front of others and not expect a receipt. The crew attacked Big Rick. Senor Cisco singed Rick's right eye with a lit cigar. Yeah, you're right, brother. You can't call somebody out on their home turf. It's, it's, it's a longer, it's a deeper story than that. But here we go. The match is on fire. And, and not avoiding your question, but I think the crew definitely has something to prove, and they are not going to back down. Oh, wow! That is sucker punch. <laughs> he was he picked, he picked us all out. Moon salt from the heaven. Superfly covers Cortez. Referee down. Count it two. You know, you bring up this big Rick thing, and if you're a spiritual person, the, the, the old book of Matthew says if your right eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. There, there's some type of symbolic thing here about Big Rick and having his eye burnt. What kind of Big Rick are we going to see when Rick gets out of the hospital? <laughs> Let me tell you about the spirituality of that. You stick a cigar in my eye, brother, I'm going to beat the living out of you and your whole family and your neighborhood. Not too much spirit. What are you talking about in the book of Matthew? In the book of Vampiro, it's called Eye for an Eye, brother. Well, listen, it's better for thee that one of your members should perish and not thy whole body be cast into damnation. 
Bible study is over. We're back to the Lucha. Tag in now to fail. Boom! Now the newest member of Get the up. crew. Bam! Wow. He's fired up. That's right. Crazy. And, and, and Bale came out from the crowd, and I, while we don't condone that, of course the doors are open. Our Good. with a cover here. Belly to back suplex. Not enough. Our Hennis now, who impressed us greatly over the past couple of weeks. Tag out now, and here comes Senor Cisco, who's all of a sudden kind of assumed the, I don't know, the, the hitman role of the crew. I mean, this is the guy that, that used the cigar. This is the guy that also just got kicked in his brown eye. So there wow. we go. Our Hennis, beautifully done. Tag in, and here comes Aerostar. Exciting, different. Here we are, come on. Aerostar using the ropes for momentum now. Senor Cisco. Wow, great, great springboard. Tilt the world head scissors. One, cover here. Two. No. Not enough, brother. Credit our referee Rick Knox. Sliding into account with a busted left arm. Which whip Aerostar into our Hennis. Our Hennis and this is where the experience is going to come from the Mexico City team who is used to this kind of action. Great point. Our Hennis now helping out Aerostar. Shades of Superfly snook at Andre the oh, Giant. Look no at way. This. No way. way. From way this is a first. High. This is a first. Oh! Two. Oh. Wow. Brother, talk about death defying, man. Man, that's crazy. Oh. And that deserves the, the applause of Vampiro. Kick to the face. That's right. Yes, sir. Bobby Slap kick. Boom. Mr. Cisco. And, and, and that is being impetuous like that. The referee's going to have to get Superfly out. That's going to occupy the referee. But looks like Rick Knox is allowing this to go down. I like it, man. Duck. Duck. Goose, perhaps. Oh. What the? What is going Whoa. on? This is just like back to the action now. Bail. <laughs> you know what's coming. You know what's coming. Cisco. Oh, oh these guys work so well together. Oh, man. All for one, one for all. The crew. Crazy. <laughs> that was just a sequence that you're going to have to watch over and over and over again and understand it because it was so action packed. Yeah. Pause, rewind, frame advance, slow. Back to the action of the ring. And of course, the goal is to win. Cover. Not enough. Notice how there, as Sister Cisco dug his forearm into Aerostar's throat on the cover. I like that. I do too, but he should have hooked the leg, brother. I know it's coming. I this is something that I don't know if it's going to be allowed or banned. This is so dangerous. Herb, stop. Ooh. And notice the placement of the foot. It's kind of like underneath the back of the lung, maybe where the kidneys or the liver reside. It's not on the back of the head, whereas most people would do that move. Now Cortez and Cisco working together. Well, if you want it to work, that's where you should do it. So I've heard. Body slam sets Aerostar into position. Cortez on the move. Bang! Ooh, Cortez man. arguably the fastest cover. Cortez arguably the quickest and perhaps the most tenacious member of the crew. Each one of these three, Bale, Cortez, and Cisco, brings something different, yet something so similar. It's not that they're interchangeable, they just have different levels of aggression. Oh, oh man, Super not since a dynamite kid and to the floor from Canada if I see somebody snap him over like that. Surprised you there, didn't I, Mr. Scholar? Hey, man, I'm with you, bro. Quick tags in and out, isolating the smallest member of the team, Arrow Star. Wise tag team strategy? I, uh, I, I was going to say yes if you would have stopped paying attention to the fans. You're talking to him now. Okay. Oh, I'm, answer, I'm answering and talking to him. And say, Look at Don't go for the... Don't turn your back, brother, because Arrow Star will surprise you quick. Oh, very nice. Release double off the hook suplex. Man, man, have you noticed in this match, and this is something different, you know, the Mexico City team is doing all the high flying and the, the, the aerial stuff, but these guys here, more traditional suplexes, uh, strong moves, a lot uh, more violence. I don't think you learn tilt the world head scissors when you're fighting someone in the street. And now this, although, is a standard wrestling hold, it could slip into a choke there designed is. to wear down your opponent. Wow. Aerostar back to his feet. Yeah, the fans are, you know what? It's the adrenaline of the fans, brother. Notice Aerostar was facing his corner. Aerostar needs to realize where his partners are and make a tag. 
Hey, now the opportunity for Arrow Star. I don't think Arrow realizes where he is, though. Wow. Bale seems out as well. All Arrow needs to do is, is climb about three feet and put his hand out, and either Superfly or Arhenis will tag. Bale tags Mr. Cisco. Arhenis is tagged. Here we go. Springboard Rana. Arhenis now uses the rink to his advantage. Sets Cisco up. Headlock, push off. Here we go. Drop down. Arhenis wow. holds on. Oh. Oh, nice kick to the chest. Cortez jumps in. Yep, that's right. Chopped the lungs out of his ears. Close line. Duck again. Different variation of a head scissors. Nicely done. But Arhenis seems to be rocked a little bit. Not able to get back up to his feet. Perhaps a dislocated hip. So judging by where he's clutching. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> and if the hip is dislocated, that allowed the leg to kick Bell in the face. Watch out, brother. These Look guys got their brothers back in a big way. Oh, yeah, I feel that. I don't care what the fans are doing, Boone. I really Man, like that. Can I ask you something, though? The crew have been, you know, kind of coming in and out at their own will, and yet Aerostar and Superfly seem to be a little more reserved. Is it a, a language barrier, not understanding the rules, or just respect for authority? I think just oh, different country, Hang different on. styles. Stomp. You know when you cover two, no. You, you know it's like a, a visiting sports team when you're in somebody else's arena, you're not as aggressive. Man, the fans are going back and forth on this one. They're enjoying this match. Hot six-man tag team action right here on Lucha Underground. Backdrop. Arhenis makes the tag, and now Aerostar, who has a legitimate beef with all three oh. members of the crew. Nicely done. Cover. Leg hooked. No. Bale kicked out strong, and notice Bale rolls right to the ropes. And now Superfly, who's the freshest of the luchadors, and Bale doesn't want any part of Superfly. Cortez pulling the foot, Bale in now. Keep your eye on Bale. <laughs> Bale, oh, no. Bale took the dive away from the fans, and Superfly gave the fans what they wanted. Action all over the dirty, grimy temple. Brother, this has definitely turned into a rivalry. Back to the ring. Cisco on the move. <laughs> Arhenis moves out of the way. Arhenis and Cisco are the legal men. Arhenis Watch out. the ropes. Beautiful crossbody. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Arhenis reminds me a little bit of El Hijo del Santo. Uh, except that he's about two meters taller. And now, Senor Cisco climbs. Aerostar takes care of him. Nope, not enough. Oh, no! That's awesome! Jesus. If you're a first-time viewer or a long-time fan, you have to admit, you don't see action like that anywhere else. Matt, I'm gonna have to join in with the fans. Holy sh... Hey, now. That was just... Twice as hell. Yeah, even the little kids are chanting the dirty words. Wow! That right there is so dangerous. Hey, right now, if you had to pick an MVP of this match, who would it be? Probably the announcing team, but if I didn't have to go there, <laughs> yeah. you know what? You can't you can't ask me that because all six guys putting their life on the line like that, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to give it to them all. Although I am very in favor of the guys who are doing the suplexes, no doubt about it. Okay. The power moves certainly have a place here in Lucha Underground. The strikes, the Man. chops, the kicks. But have you noticed this is the first time these guys have been together and this has turned into a, a mega heated rivalry. It shows you the depth of talent we have here at Lucha Underground. Wow! Oh, nice. oh yeah. 3D yeah. into the code breaker. Is it enough? Yes. yes. Six of these men have proven themselves to you. Mr. Cisco wearing the wounds of war on his face. All six of these luchadors have bright futures here at Lucha Underground. No doubt about it, man. No doubt about it. And coming up next, an exclusive interview. Vampiro sits down with Prince Puma and Conan, and no punches are pulled. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back next on Lucha Underground.
What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Lucha Underground on the El Rey Network. And two weeks ago, we saw a brand new champion, Prince Puma, viciously attacked by a newcomer, the man they call Cage. Vampiro, you sat down and had a very controversial interview with Cage. You had another interview this week with Conan and Prince Puma. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, man, it was exciting because I got to talk to the champ for the first time in his first public appearance, and it drove me insane. You could have cut the knife with the intensity. I'm telling you, Conan is not good. Conan wouldn't shut his mouth. But instead of going on and on and on and on, why don't we just check it out ourselves? Hey, everybody. Vampiro again, ringside here in Boyle Heights. Puma, I want to shake your hand. It's good to meet you, brother, in person. Congratulations. First champion ever here in Lucha Underground. How you feeling with all of this, brother? I'll tell you exactly how he's feeling. Holmes, pissed off. You know, he outlasted 19 other guys to become the Lucha Underground champion. Wow. Then he went toe to toe with Phoenix and he showed that he deserves to be the champion. Then all of a sudden, some punk ass wannabe, try to be, never gonna be, jumps him from behind. Oh, man. I saw Cage earlier tonight. What you're saying to me is, if Puma was ready, if you were in the moment, you would have been pumped, primed, it would have been a different outcome with Cage, is that what you're trying to say? That's exactly what I said. Cage would be the one in the hospital. And I promise you, that's exactly where he's headed. A lot of critics are saying that you're just flash, brother. And watching you live, I will give you your props. But the opinion is somebody like Cage, who's a monster, who just hits people and they don't get up, that you ain't gonna be able to handle the dog. But what's your opinion on all that? I don't ever remember checking for your opinion or the critics' opinion. But I will tell you this, Cage lacks this. And right here, what you see right here, Unstoppable, brother. And it's gonna be all over, Cage. Boom. Strong words, Conan. But I'm telling you now, I'm getting sick and tired of you just jumping in and shooting your mouth off. That is unless you, champ, you don't got your own opinion. You got something you wanna tell me, Van? Yeah, brother, this is his moment, brother. He's the champion. This is, this is his time in the world, but you always got to stick your mug there. When he was getting the belt and he had it in the air and the fans were going crazy, there's Conan. But I'm just making an observation right now. Well, observe this. Watch as Puma shreds up Cage like ropa vieja. And if you keep running your mouth, you're gonna be next. Yeah? This interview is over. Anytime you wanna do it, brother. We've done this Orale. a million times. One more Orale. time. Oh. You let me know. Be careful, Puma. The following Lucha is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the Lucha Underground Championship. Accompanied by Conan from Boyle Heights, he is the Lucha Underground Champion, Prince Puma! Two weeks ago, the pride of Boyle Heights was brutally attacked by Cage. Tonight, Prince Puma puts his title on the line for the second time in just three weeks. A true fighting champion at Vampiro. Look, the first appearance at ringside by the Lucha Libre OG Conan. It's doing nothing but provoke me, brother. I'm telling you, and I've told him, and I will tell the world, Puma does not need Conan, but... He's got to pay attention. Don't turn your back on him. The big question, is Puma 100% or has the young champion finally run his course? We're going to find out. Our main event is coming your way next. Call him Cage. Oh, the man 
Cole Cage represents Fresno, California, and Cage mauled Puma the last time we saw Cage. I guess the only thing that can contain a Puma is a cage, part of the punt. and the champ is on fire. I didn't think I was listening to you, kid, but I was. Prince Puma realizes he's tasted the power of Cage, so perhaps Puma realizes that he has to get to Cage early. Puma now with intensity, no Cage, with a double leg slamming Puma into the turnbuckle. Notice Puma sets himself for a position. Look at that. Obviously, Puma will have the speed, agility, and just straight up wrestling advantage, but in a fight, strength, Matters. Wow, anger and hatred matter, and Cage definitely trumps Puma in that category. You know what, man? I would think that, you know, it's a championship match, and I almost thought that Cage would be a little bit more methodical and take his time and study, but he's going after him. He's trying to cut the tree down right off the bat. Well, Cage mentioned how he's not going to wait in line. He's not oh going to go God. through the proper channels or be politically correct. Most people do that in the wrestling business, and they never get a chance. Oh, it's the squeaky Matt. wheel that gets the grease. Matt, nobody in this business is politically correct. Are you crazy saying that? What's wrong with you? Cage is doing the right thing. Hey, man, he wants to make a name for himself. There's only one way to go, and that's to the top. Oh, ho, ho. he spun him around in midair, dog. The thing to watch for is if Cage's mouth hangs open. That's the sign of a tired fighter. Going for a cover here. Is Look it at enough? That. No. Did you see the elbow in the eyes? Yes. Wow. I'm feeling Cage, man. He's on a mission. Again, you notice Conan. Conan's first appearance at ringside shows us the weight of this match. Puma's Lucha Underground title reign is in jeopardy. Conan has been in the shoes of Cage decades before this young man was even thinking about becoming a wrestler. And Conan knows what it takes to retain and be a world heavyweight champion, especially when you're a big man. That's right, Conan El Chapo, known and revered throughout Mexico. That man right there, Conan. Back to the action now, Prince Puma. The champion clutching the back of his head. Title can only but change But if he's going to watch, stay away. Stop shooting your mouth off. I knew he was going to get in the mix. every right to do it. No. Not when the game is being played, brother. Try, try, trying to inspire his charge, you know? Conan is responsible for training and bringing Prince Puma to Lucha Underground. There's a financial and emotional investment there. Yeah, okay, but Puma's getting rocked right now. He doesn't need to hear from Conan. He's right trying now. to regain his senses. Oh, wow. Blocked and... Oh, roll through! Shoulders are down! Two! No! It seems like Puma's been fighting this match from behind for, for the majority. And he just got hit with a baseball bat in the face. Nope, that was Cage's arm. Now, the up and over. Cage throws Puma down. Wow, the spring in Puma's step is still there. Not anymore. Oh, Alabama, sit out Alabama slam. Look at that. Wow, I've never seen that before, dude. Ooh, and the Placement of the hand into the stomach. Some would say cocky, others say pushing on the diaphragm makes it harder to breathe. Come on, move up. But look at that. Look what you called. He's getting tired. Cage is gasping for air. Now let's see if he's human or he really is a machine like he claims to be, dog. If the, if the methodical pace, the stalk of Cage, if it begins to slow down, oh. that's what Puma's looking for. Reminiscent of the great Terry Gordy. Power slam position. Cage's power is universal. Not every move's gonna be pretty. If you ever watch a fight, fights aren't pretty. Both men down. This is Puma's opportunity now, as Puma lays on the center seal here in the temple. Great shot of the challenger, Cage, writhing, trying to get to his feet over the shoulder of Conan. Puma, shoulder into the gut, sets up the enziguri, which brings Cage out to the middle of the ring. Spring blow, close line. Crazy, did you see how high he got? Oh, what would you say, nine feet in the air? Sure, why not? But you'll notice now that every time Cage has been down, it's a result of Puma's high octane, very different offense. I think he's definitely showing maturity as a young champion, adapting. Northern Lights. Blocked. Wow. Oh, double underhook. Ooh, police. Puma smart there, rolling all the way out of the ring. That, that, that's a veteran maneuver right there, keeping your shoulders off the mat and rolling away from Matt, the middle of the ring. That's Conan, man. He didn't roll out of the ring. He got thrown out of the ring with a machine. But, uh, nice reversal. Slap to the ear. Kick to the shin. Whoa. Top rope catches Cage under the throat. 
Puma, springboard, double knees. Oh my God, brother, he planted his brain cover. Two. Oh. And listen, Puma's defending his title for the second time in three weeks. He's a fighting champion. None of this every 30 days stuff that we no. have in, in the call, wrestling Matt. world. Good call, good call. But how long is it going to take him to recuperate? Because you know, as fresh as he is, that stuff's got to hurt, dog. Well, Puma is young, and his recuperative powers are at their apex. Well, getting elbowed in the side of the face. Cage now looks to go for a belly to back. Puma rolls through, grabs the waist lock, trying to gain position oh, man. here. Oh, notice how Cage kept Puma's arm. That allowed Cage to stay close to Puma. Wow. Puma has tasted Cage's power and definitely wants to get out of the way. Well, normally up here is Puma's territory. You don't normally see a bear or a lion up in a tree. Look at the power, man. Whoa. Oh, the toe of the boot caught Cage right in the jaw. The fans are behind our champion. Oh, wow, wow. Ooh. Jackhammer. Is this enough? Two. No. Family talk about it all the time. Would a leg hook have given us a new champ? You know what? It's hard to say. I would say yes, but Puma is our champ, and he's not going to give up so easily. You know he's... Plus, unfortunately, and maybe it's in his favor right now, this is where the experience and the fortitude of Conan will come in play. Cage looks tired. You mentioned that. The longer this match goes on, it works against Cage, carrying all that weight and muscle. Almost trying to play the wrong game, that. brother. Puma using the turnbuckle. Wow. Push off high knee. Yep, doing too much, brother, for a big man. Use your strength, brother. But he's wearing him down, Puma, little by little, catching fire. Wow. Cage is a beast. A lot of Cage's stuff is counter wrestling. He seems to counter a lot of Puma's moves. Showing a little agility. Whoa! Moonsault for the big man. Is it enough? Two. New chin. Oh. I've never seen a big man with this much agility. Yeah. And the it, frustration. It, it, but it's pretty impressive, man. But I'm telling you. Is the frustration creeping into Cage's mind now? As a competitor, uh, what do you do? You hit a guy with everything, you can't beat him. Cage went for the power bomb. Puma slipped out. I'm sure you can. European uppercut. Spit kick. Puma. Nice jumping axe kick. Blocks. <laughs> Gosh, I can't even keep up. Oh! I can rock his world. <laughs> Yeah. Spine buster into not one, but two power bombs roll through. Sunset flip. Puma now back to his feet. Bang! This is your main event for the Lucha Underground Heavyweight Championship. The champion, Puma, on the right. Conan's charge. The challenger. The brand new monster cage. There you get a look at the Lucha legend, Conan. That definitely deserved a standing ovation that they got, myself included. I got so excited to jump right in, talking about not being politically correct, brother. You take over. <laughs> it's okay to be a fan, man. We all are. Cage up to his feet first. Puma up. Puma looks to the faithful, but Puma should be looking to his right, because Cage is right in front of you. Oh, the machine launched him. Oh, nice. Man. A lot of power. What Still a, a lot of power in Cage this late stage of the match. Ooh! Wow. Modified F5. Is it enough? No leg hook, but the hand is in the stomach. Ooh! Ooh. And look at the disbelief after that display of arrogance. That's right, brother. You're not there yet. Man, the champ is resilient tonight. Puma embodies the phrase fighting champion. Pump handle, flip through. Oh! Oh! oh. Is this guy still standing? Chin music. Boom! Oh. We've seen Cage use that discus clothesline before to finish. Whoa! The Big Northern Light suplex. Puma is Puma just a rolls rock. What's he, what's he doing, brother? Ah, uh, you can see that Cage is way too much. Cage has a choke hooked right in. Puma was able wow. to avoid it. Big suplex. Give Puma props, brother. Cover. Oh, you can wow. sense the desperation on the faces of both luchadors. This match is for the world championship and all the money and glory that comes with it. 
and the fans are calling it for us, brother. This is awesome. Now no Puma. doubt about it. Puma telling everyone that the 6.30 is about to come. This is something that you will not see another human being do on this show or anywhere else on television. 630 degree revolution by the human body is about to be seen. Courtesy of our champ, Prince Pro Wow, very smart. Very, very smart on the part of the machine. Yeah, Pushed a little, the little risky though. though. But yeah. Disqualification. Oh. Can't be champ. What was that, brother? Cage pushing the referee is one thing, and Marty Elias allowed the match to go on. But the low blow from behind was enough. Cage has been disqualified. Puma is still your champ, but the story continues here. Ooh, there's a gory stretch. Oh! Nicely done there. Cage has sent a message. What? Wow, Cage is... Oh, it, show, it shows you how important the championship is to everyone. And now, hey, look at this. Wow. For the first time in over five years, Conan is in a ring. And the Prime Minister with the pip stick. Oh, boy. Wow. Ooh. involved himself. Oh! <laughs> Reminiscent of superstar Billy Graham tearing the title. Utter disrespect. Oh, spit on the championship and spit on the legacy of Conan. Look at that. Brother, he ripped the belt in half. Ooh. The blood of a true warrior stains the canvas here in the temple. And I know it's cliche, but this has now become personal. You talk about Cage not being politically correct. You talk about Cage not showing any respect. What Cage has just done to Conan, what Cage has just done to Prince Puma, what Cage has just done to the Lucha Underground Championship is absolutely disgraceful. It will be held to pay. What the hell are you doing? Who are you? I'm looking for a man. A man that owes me. Well, what man? Not me. I pay my debts. I know he's here in your temple. Well, then feel free to question anyone in my roster. Oh, I can help you. Do you have a name? I only have one word. Matanza. I'm sorry. The word means nothing to me.